get it? I'm also your press agent. Where are you guys from? Five? Oh. <laughs> Sir, what time is this going to be on? Tonight, tonight. Oh, Phil! You're not taking any Phil. sound. Don't take any sound, Jeff. Phil Edmund! Tell my mother I'm okay and eat her well. <laughs>
Identify yourself. What's your name, sir? Uh, William P. Gillette. Mr. Gillette, what occurred down there? Well, we were going across the street, and there was, uh, I didn't know who they were, but they had, uh, well, they're all uniform the same, and they had a dog, and we had oh, one. Excuse yeah. me, may I interrupt? Are you referring to the gentleman wearing the swastikas? I didn't know that until now, or until after that happened, but yes, it was. Then what happened? Well, their uh, German Shepherd turned around and tried to take on the St. Bernard. Didn't work out too good for them. Who's St. Bernard? Mine. A Jewish oh, you're a Jewish St. Bernard. You better believe. Oh, <laughs> then what occurred? Uh, I ran out to get the dog, and the next thing I knew, somebody with swastika hit me right between the eyes, and all I could see was. Uh, hit you with what, sir? Well, that picket sign, which mm -hmm. felt like a two by four, but it turned out to be just a broomstick. And then? And then I hit him. All that right. In, that in the affair? Yeah. Well, it did till the police came in, yes. And they, they, I believe, you know, everybody's got a gripe against the police department. I get kind of sick of it. They did a nice job. I'm really proud of it. They pulled me away, they pulled right. him away, and they pinned him. And it, it was fair. I, I was, I thought in the right, and they pinned me down, and they pinned him down. And then after they heard the, both ju value judgments, they let us go. William Gillette, his name. Hey, Soviet Jews! Say Soviet Jews! Have a chance, Soviet Jews!